As we just discussed, we can actually move the right half plane zero using a nulling resistor. And this can be, this is a good solution, especially for integrated circuits. The nulling resistor can be implemented with a MOS transistor. Okay, so what does this look like? Well, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to put something in the path of the compensation capacitor that allows us to move the compensation capacitor. Only this time we're going to place a resistor. And we're going to call this resistor RZ. The resistor bridges stage one and stage two, uh, just like it did before. It's in series with the compensation capacitor. Okay, if we were to do KCL, at the input and output nodes and define a transfer function V out over Vn, we could figure out what the pole frequencies and uh, zero frequencies are. After we place this nulling resistor, we still see the same dominant pole omega P1 is equal to one over GM2 R2 R1 CC. We have the same Second pole frequency, omega P2, which is equal to GM2 divided by CL. We introduce a third pole frequency, omega P3, which is equal to 1 divided by RZ times the capacitance from the first stage. And finally, we still have a zero, omega Z1, which is equal to 1 divided by CC times 1 over GM2 minus RZ. So the difference that we see now is that the zero that we uh, see can be moved by adjusting the size of the nulling resistor RZ. If we were going to implement this in CMOS, we would probably do so as follows. We would use a MOS transistor in series with the compensation capacitor. And of course, we would have to derive a, a bias voltage for that MOS transistor. Now, what we need to ask ourselves is how do we optimally size RZ? And we'll figure that out in the next set of slides. But basically, we're going to note that depending upon the size of RZ, we can change the zero frequency from the left half plane to the right half plane. Uh, and we can also adjust it so that it potentially lands on top of one of our, one of our poles uh, to give us the biggest frequency separation. So we'll investigate that in the next set of slides.